Hello, this movie is for Unit 5 Learning Target 1, Properties of Mid-Segments. So what we're going to look at is what a mid-segment is and the properties that go along with it. So a mid-segment is when you have found two midpoints of two different sides of a triangle. Let's say that these two are the midpoints where this side and this side are congruent and this side and this side are congruent. Hence the two midpoints. If I connect those two midpoints with a segment, we call that segment the mid-segment. So this guy is called the mid-segment. Two properties follow about the mid-segment. One is that the mid-segment will be parallel to one of the bases of the triangle. And obviously it's the third side that does not have the midpoint. So those two lines will be parallel. And the second one is that it's going to be half the length. So if I were to tell you this is a length of 20, the length of our mid-segment would be 10. So that's what a mid-segment is. And the two properties that follow is it's parallel to the base side and it's half the length. So a mid-segment of a triangle is a segment who's connecting the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. If a mid-segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the segment is parallel to the third side and is half as long. That's going to go in your handbook. Here we have a couple of mid-segments. Because R is a midpoint of DE, S is a midpoint of EF, we have RS as a mid-segment. And so we know that RS is going to be parallel to its third side, df. We can see that RT is also a mid-segment and it is RT is going to be parallel to its third side EF. And then we know that TS is also a mid-segment, connects two midpoints, and we know that TS is going to be parallel to its third side DE. So those are the three pairs of parallel segments in this triangle. In triangle XYZ, A is the midpoint of XY, B is the midpoint of YZ, C is the midpoint of ZX. So you can see that listed. What are the three pairs of parallel segments? Well, we don't have this diagram that you see up here does not go for 1A. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to cross that out because we, we did one similar to that, so I think you'll be fine with that. But B goes with our diagram that we have. What is the measure of VUO, which is this angle right here, in the figure? So in this figure, that angle, how are we going to find the measure? Well, we know that UV is a mid-segment. How do we know it's a mid-segment? Connects two midpoints. So because it's a mid-segment, it's parallel to NM. So UV is parallel to NM. Therefore, angle VUO is going to be, the measure will be equal to the measure of angle MNO. The reasoning being, these are two corresponding sides. When you have two lines that are parallel, cut by a transversal, this would be my transversal, those two angles are going to be corresponding angles. So we know the measure of angle VUO is going to be 65 degrees. All right. Let's look down here. Here we have a triangle, TUB, our midpoints. What are the lengths? So we need to find the lengths of TU, UB, QR. TU is right here, and we're given that it's at the midpoint. Therefore, TU is a mid-segment. will be half the length of the 40. So TU is 20. Here we have UB. UB is right here. It's also a mid-segment to this side, which is 50. So UB will be 25. QR is this segment. And we know its mid-segment is 30, so this is going to be twice that, so that will be 60. 
Any questions? You gotta check with me if you have any questions on that. Try this guy. Here we got AD is six, DE 7.5. What are the lengths of DC, AC, EF, and AB? Pause the movie, try this on your own, press play when you are finished. All right, DC is going to be congruent to AD, so that's 6. AC is the whole length, so that's 12. EF is a mid-segment to that whole length, which is 12, so that's 6. And AB, AB down here, is going to be twice 7.5, so it's 15. All right, let's go to the next slide. Here we have an application because you can't walk on water. CD is a bridge being built over a lake, as shown in the figure at the right. What is the length of the bridge? Pause this movie, try to figure out the length of that bridge, and then press play when you are finished. All right, what we know is C and D are midpoints of these two sides because it's cutting it in half. These two are congruent. So if CD is a mid-segment to this length, 2,640, we'll take 2,640 feet and divide it by two to get what the mid-segment length is. So it's 1,320 feet. That's how long the bridge is. So that's what a mid-segment is and the properties involved with the mid-segment. That's all for the movie. Thank